What is up, y'all? We are back with another episode of Pushing Buttons. This is episode 2-5, and there's nothing cool that goes with 2-5, so it's just 2-5 this week. <laughs> um, oh I am one half of the bromance B, um, and we have my other half is quarantining, quarantina, quarantine brother. Skin glowing, microphone toting, cocoa butter, something, Claudia oh. said. <laughs> I don't use cocoa butter. Um, <laughs> Keith is chilling at Yo, home. So he's not with us I, here physically. We're looking at him through um, FaceTime. Uh, yes. So maybe if I'm able to get this footage somehow, we're able to see Keith. Uh, pod uh in the near future we'll figure it out better but this is what we're doing today so we're winging it um he's one half he's the other half of the bromance and then we have the very popular very very tech savvy very instagrammable claudia sup guys <laughs> we're extra cozy today we are on the couch um, we don't have our typical setup. This might be the new setup. Who knows? Yeah. Keith surprises, might, surprises. Where will it be? Keith, <laughs> Keith might be permanently. <laughs> <laughs> he might be permanently what? at home. Oh, no. <laughs> Keith, you might be permanently at home, man. It's a wrap for you. And here I was dreaming of getting kicked out of the Pushing Buttons podcast <laughs> by you two. And now it looks like it's the other way around. Maybe this is what my dream dream was projecting was that Keith yeah. is gonna be at home. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that, right? Uh huh. Um, I do want to say that we are on all streaming platforms. We are on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and we are on Anchor for your ass. Um, and we are on YouTube, so go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, we've got a couple subscribers uh we're doing okay uh the listening listens have picked up i like that and keep doing your thing guys um keep listening to us we really appreciate it um and i do we do want i do want to say one thing before we move on to the shits um uh we're gonna be missing a couple episodes so claudia run it through me again because i always forget or keith um i always forget uh, when are we not? When are we like stopping the recording again? Because we're taking a break. We're taking a break. Next week is the last episode, sir. Yeah. So ne we're not recording on Christmas week or on New Year's Eve. All right. Or and New then Year's we'll be. Eve. So when will we be back for the listeners? When will we be back? The week. Well, technically, we'll be here recording like the week after. Um. So New when Year's? is the episode? The episode. When will the episode come out for the listeners? The uh, sixth, right? Yeah, I think so. Wait. Yeah, it's the sixth. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll be back the sixth. Um, we technically will only be missing out on just two, two episodes. Yeah. So we're taking a break. We deserve it. We've been giving people content back to back to back to back to back weeks, and then we took one break because of a, a potential outbreak, and then now we've taken a second break because of another potential outbreak. But we are here. Um, and we are potting this time, so we're not taking a break. Um, and um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into the shits today. Um, we're going to start off with B's random thought of the week. Oh, um, crap, I forgot about this. Yes, Keith. <laughs> this, is, this is the random thought of the week this week. So give it to me, y'all. How many followers or how many likes would, would like want you, like would convince you to post provocative pictures on instagram so like how many likes you think you should be getting to be posting provocative pictures on instagram in your panties or ass cheeks out or uh the hand hand bra <laughs> um or whatever the case <laughs> what keith 
<laughs> you said the hand bra like this. <laughs> the hand bra. Um, I don't know. Ask out. How many likes did you be getting? Because I was having this conversation with a few folks, and then I was roaming around Instagram and roaming around Twitter, and I was like, man, people are really out here posting shit for like thirty likes. And to me, like, uh, uh-uh. uh, I'm not posting no. I'm not posting a provocative picture for 30 likes. Maybe they're just getting started. You know what I mean? That's Gotta a hell start of a, from somewhere. Huh? Gotta start from somewhere. Right. That's a, that's a hell of a start. Like, you I think mean, it yeah. start, you know what I'm saying, like, with, like, you know, modeling pictures or something like that. But, like, provocative pictures? How provocative? Like, I just said, like... He, he just said, like it, don't, like, it don't have to be, like, nudity or something like that. It okay. can just be, like... Right, Keith. Right, right, right. Like, it doesn't okay, have okay, to be, okay. like, like naked, but it's provocative. So, like, your hand, well, your ass cheeks are out. It's basically, what Berto is saying is, if you're pursuing uh, thirst traps, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Okay, okay. Well, I... Th- <laughs> I honestly, it's... You gotta... To be honest, you gotta get started somewhere. Like, and that's what's gonna get attention. When people see pictures like that, yeah, that's going to get attention. Then people are going to go visit your whatever account, like Instagram or Twitter, or Facebook, whichever you post on. And then if that's something that you regularly do, they're probably going to keep on visiting it and you're going to be getting more likes. And, you know, the boys are going to know about this chick on Instagram who's right. I mean, I don't know. I would you, Keith? How many, how many pics, Keith? Well, I, OK, so Claudia, so would you do it for how many likes? No, would I... you continue to post? Pro- would you start off like? I don't know. If in, I okay, so I'm in gonna, bra and panties, you're gonna post like a picture that's gonna get like ten likes. Okay, let me put myself in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put yourself. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Envision it. Envision, envision it. myself envision being it. a little thirst trapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The thirst trapper, um, body catcher. You know. I mean, I would definitely. I wouldn't start off right away with showing, you know, like with a thong or anything. Maybe, maybe a oversized white shirt you know like something simple and then is there water involved or is it just the white shirt no no water <laughs> no, baby, baby, baby. i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you what it is it's the white shirt but you can tell that she doesn't have a bra on oh okay okay, okay. something like that so something like, like that. i think that that's a start and then as likes go up maybe i'll do it or i will do it i guess in that sense if that's what, what i'm trying to get more more likes then mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. it'll start off little by little not with everything all at once so soft soft uh what is it called soft in porn, porn when it's soft not porn like well, yeah like uh, soft porn yeah, yeah yeah so it'll be like soft uh, core porn safe for work isn't it safe, in for, safe work for work porn? something safe like that work, yeah something like that that exists like not like safe for work is is bro- like so. is it see-through titties uh shirt? No, it's not but, at the, work, but right? at the same time it's something that's so I see so many girls walking on the street without a bra on. You can tell that they don't have one on. Yeah, that I'm not. I mean, at least for for me, it's not a it's not a big deal. I don't know how men fu- function. I know some guys like they see no bras and they're like, oh, right. But for me, it's just like, okay, cool. You know, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. I don't care. But then again, I don't know how it is for men. So that's a good perspective to get. Like for me, it's just like ass cheeks, ass cheeks, right? Um. And that's interesting because even though I'm attracted to women, I'm able to be like, yeah, cool, like whatever, you know. I'm not like, damn. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I, I'm speaking for myself. Uh, I don't think <laughs> anything of it if I see it in the street, right? Like it's just you got no brawn, right? Whatever. Right. Um, but if I see it like on Instagram, that's a different thing, right? Because you're now you're you're trying to do something as opposed to in the street, you're just walking around, no bra. That's like to me, it's like walking around in joggers, you know what I'm saying, or like yeah. in pajamas or some shit. Like that's what I feel like. And, and in an Instagram, it's a little bit more different, right? Because there's an intention behind the picture, right? There's not necessarily yes. It's, so it's to captivate the attention or not. Some people just mm-hmm. post it and whatever, right? Yeah. Um, yes. But I think more often than not, it's it's to, you know, to to get a reaction get right to uh, get an attention of some sort from either boys or girls or women or men Whatever. right yeah uh keith i don't know can you speak to that is it any uh, different if you see it in the street or in on instagram uh yes yeah, it's, it's a difference instagram yeah you said like it's the intent but people do it you said like 10 likes but 200 likes is not that many 
It depends on if you even know that that many people. You probably don't even know 200 people that's liking the picture. It's just people that's liking it. Now, you get to 10,000 or 5,000 likes, you might be getting somewhere. But then so how many, uh, how many likes would it take for you to start posting provocative pictures if you were to do it? If you were to start an OnlyFans, how many pictures? <laughs> like, how provocative? How many likes on Instagram would it take for you to start posting provocative pictures? Um, I don't think any. I don't. I don't. I don't really go for like. I don't care for likes too much. But if you want me to put a number on it, uh, probably what fifty thousand, probably. Damn, Damn Keith. <laughs> Keith's like, I'm not but showing I off my goodies. I don't think I said like the fifty thousand. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I said my number. To be honest, I'd I'd say like ten k. I think that's a good ten k. Because that way, Damn, it's you like, guys have more morals than I do. It's like going. It's going. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's going five likes. Up. Huh? <laughs> five likes. You got five likes, B? No, I'm not doing five likes. No way, no way. Can't do five <laughs> likes. You can't do five, 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 five men like your post. It'd be, it'd be cool for you. <laughs> Why five men? <laughs> <laughs> Why five men, sure. Keith? I was, I was just saying, I'll make sure you uh, I'm inclusive. Sure I know. That's make, why That's why I said men. I making, can't assume that you don't like women. Making sure, making sure you're inclusive. Look at Keith. <laughs> progressive, progressive Keith. <laughs> Progressive key. I had to make sure you're included. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think for me it would be like, I want to say like a thousand likes. You can start to like head that way. <laughs> At a thousand. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's a low number? A uh, bit, but. Uh, I'm not uh, naked uh, on Instagram. I'm just posting no. pictures. Okay, of me. what would you guys post? How would you start it off? I, I don't know how to do any of that so i don't know how i put would put yourself just how i did it envision envision myself envision, Again, envision but if you're going off your own body i don't think people want to see what we have to you offer. don't know that <laughs> you don't know that people like huskiness uh, uh, that's, a, that's a uh term for fat basically but for no, fat, right? it's, it's fat not but not, fat. not not mean Keith. Not, that's what it is mean, yeah it's like nah. Thanks, yeah, it's like when you tell a it's, when it's, when, it's like when you tell a girl Keith, you know you're 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 really cute, you know you're a real nice girl. Yeah, yeah okay. you say you're a real nice girl. Yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah. a real nice girl. You know you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if we cute, you we don't. Anyway, tell you that. <laughs> back to the topic. How would you start? Would you start with a little snug shirt, Keith? What, like a oh, like a like a tight tank top or something? Yeah, yeah. Or are you uh, giving off the goodies right away? <laughs> Showing off the abs or a little, a little, uh, what's that called? The shit leading into your right here. Oh, the V. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you were, if you were packing, you know, if you were six packing it. Oh. Uh, or would you do the see-through underwear like some of these rappers have been doing? See-through underwear. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they post like the their their pictures in their uh in their in their briefs and then and it's, and it's like the outline of their penis. Oh yeah, you guys see the eggplant? For- no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I post something like that? Uh, I don't. Again, fifty thousand likes, probably. Something that extreme. Yes. What about it? Like, like if you're just posting like your body, like, like your if you had abs or some shit like that, would you do it for? it? Oh, abs is that's that's easy. I'll do a thousand likes abs. Not- <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I mean. I it's a abs. start. You know what I'm saying? It's a start. Right, right. You gotta. That's like a someone. girl. You know, at a thousand, you can post your 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 white t-shirt. Right. You know, nipples out. Um, <laughs> and then you know you progressively, if there was more likes, then you know you progressively ease it into. But I think you start off like hot right away. Some people do, yeah, because you want to get people attentions right away. Yeah, I know, but dang. What if you never do and you spend like three, four years you know? just posting pictures and getting like 10 likes for that ass shots? I mean, that sucks. <laughs> uh, but I've seen, I, I've been surprised. What does it suck? What if you just like showing your body to people and you don't care about the likes? Could that too. Be. But um, on TikTok, I've seen like a lot of men, they be dancing mm-hmm. and then they have their little sweats and then you could just see like their penises like swinging. And I'm like, I really don't want to see this. As a <laughs> what? Yeah, like they have their sweats and you could <laughs> tell that they don't have anything <laughs> under. And I'm just like, uh uh-uh, uh, stop. Dang. So I reported because. Hey, <laughs> dang! Let the man live! Dang! Because 
TikTok. Shoot the shot. TikTok apparently. What did you say, Keith? He's, he's shooting the shot on TikTok. How do you know? For who, he, that's a creep, especially since so many. Wait, they're kids. sending the pic. They're sending that to somebody, or they're posting it on TikTok. No, like they're, they're posting, posting it. Like, it. and then are they're you like, reporting me? the girls that are swinging their titties around and shaking their asses? I haven't seen that. <laughs> I haven't seen <laughs> that. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, I swear, I haven't seen it on this TikTok. This is the third. This is the third episode. Carla tries to bullshit me. <laughs> okay, I haven't Good seen way. it. I can show you through my TikTok what it shows up and then the reason i reported is because i don't want that type of content on my tiktok personally so just don't just remove it no because then they're gonna keep putting it on there <laughs> and, She's then out of little, against men. and then my <laughs> little sister be well i don't want my sister to be seeing that shit but she can see the girl shaking that booty no she can't do that <laughs> report it claudia equal rights damn it <laughs> i'm standing up for equal rights <laughs> Well, I mean, if I haven't seen, I honestly on TikTok, I don't see girls doing, I see it more on Instagram than anything, but on TikTok, mostly the most thing they do is like do their little dances. Which oh, you got to get deep into the TikTok stuff. Oh no, I, I, well, no. I mean, I don't have TikTok, but I heard you got to get deep into the TikToks oh, really? to see like. No, I wa- I have like basic. What do you mean deep into the TikTok, B? Stuff. Huh? What do you mean like deep into the TikTok? What do you Like, mean? you know, like really get into it, like start to look around and shit. No, you gotta really search for it. Obviously, because obviously saying. because like the the TikTok algorithms are gonna tell you like, oh shit, you need to you know they're gonna cater to what you typically watch, right? Mm-hmm. So you're not yeah. gonna get like crazy wild shit. But if you were to like go look somewhere else and then follow somebody else and see what they got, that's what I mean yeah. by searching. I'm like seeing what somebody you, else yeah. has and then looking around and then you're like, oh shit. This person doing this, and then that person has somebody else that yeah. does the same shit. Like that's what I mean. That's why I was shook. I was like, "Why is this person on my for you page? Mm. Like, who are you?" Well, you must what have liked something. Up? Hey, what were you looking up, Claudia? Yeah, what were you? <laughs> what were you looking up, Claudia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because all I like mostly is Jade stuff. You know, you know what's like that? My personal, uh, the one, my personal Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, it has. A bunch of like stuff about like girls of none of the girls that I follow because all my followers are like people that I n- know for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then like I, my whole explorer, you know, the little explorer page, yeah, it's just girls. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, the explorer page is trying to get you. I swear. You said it's what? Just, it's just girl. The, the explorer page they just got like pictures of girls, basically. He said they're trying to get you. They're trying they just, to. They just want you to go. They want you to go and look at the pictures. They're all trying the time. to get us. They're trying to catch a slipping, Keith. Yeah. And Claudia. Mm-hmm. No, I see. I don't. My page is like that's all my explorer is. Is just like gym girls. And I, and I never like pictures like that. And I don't never like pictures. I get, I get it sometimes, not often, but I know what you're talking about. Like I have yeah. a lot of that. I have a but feeling. Why is, that the, why is that in our explorer though? If we don't like pictures like that, like, I have yeah, a feeling like, I know why I get those pictures. <laughs> you know, Someone you follow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no. I think actually, it's Keith, actually. No, no, actually. <laughs> no, here's the thing, though. The popular page, just so you guys know, actually, that does make sense because the popular page is also based on what people you are following are liking. So That's they the kind explore of, page, right? Yeah, so, so okay. they kind of do it. So you're kind of like, oh, wait, they, you know? So a lot of times you might even see people you know liking the pictures or they might even be following that person. Mm-hmm. So it comes up. So I've gotten a few of those pictures and I'm like, oh, I see who you are. I know who he is. So oh, it's a Instagram it's a got rid of the page. That you said you what, Keith? See other pe- Instagram got rid of that page where you can see other people's likes. Which is stupid. Dude, I love seeing that because I'm like, damn, some of my guy friends are fucking creeps. <laughs> <laughs> Have we popped up yet, Claudia? No, but someone, y'all know, I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> you can stop liking those pictures now. <laughs> Claudia's like, let me peek around too. <laughs> and then I'll just blame it on my guy friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know how you... Can- for people what like? You know how you could before see what people like? You can still see it. No. Yeah? No. It'll no. it'll show you the f- the first two people and hide the uh, rest. Yeah, yeah. And but- typically the person that it the first two people that it shows you it'll be people you follow. Right, but beforehand, I don't like, think you, you were on Instagram like. during that time. Like, but you can, can see can, what, you can see every like that they like. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. You could scroll. I remember it was to like the right or the left or something. And then yeah. you could see everything they've liked. Like Dang. everything. But then they took that off because people were getting in trouble. Dang. That's bogus. Instagram. That's bogus, bro. Mm-hmm. Putting people's business out there. All right, man. We just get off of this shit, man. We've been on it for 20 fucking minutes. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> maybe a little bit less than that because we started the recording. Um, but we're going to move on to fun things. And we forgot to turn off the heater again. But we couldn't hear it in the last episode, okay, I don't think. Good. I don't think, right? I don't mm-hmm. know. No, I didn't hear anything when I listened to the podcast. You, Keith? Uh, I did listen to it. Sorry. All right, thanks. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> you recorded it she asked for it you said it to both of us yeah cause remember she said she wanted it to do the clips earlier so she could start yeah. on the clips that's why she wanted it yeah <laughs> so you still got it I still got it yes you just did it did you want me to listen to All right, it alright Keith alright man we're moving on <laughs> Trucking right along, trucking right along. Um, we are going to move on to our first topic of the day, uh, and we are going to keep it moving. Uh, COVID vaccine shit. COVID, va- COVID vaccine stuff. Um, has been approved. As we are... What? Has been approved. Yeah. As we've all uh, come to find out on, on the news, if you don't watch the news, I guess we'll be your news source. We are not an educational podcast, so please do not listen to us for any of your facts. <laughs> Don't fact check us because we don't know shit. Um, we're just speaking our minds on what we see and what we look at. And remember what I said? I forgot what documentary we watch. Our algorithms might be different from your algorithms. Uh, so you might be seeing something completely different and we might be seeing something else. Yeah. Um, so COVID vaccine has been approved by the CDC, right? Is that correct? FDA. Or the FDA? FDA. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? That's why we're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> FDA um, has approved the COVID vaccine. Um, we're supposed to be getting a shit ton of vaccines. Well, not a shit ton of vaccines. It'll be a yeah. lot, but not enough. Not enough. Um, it'll and be it'll, not, not nearly enough. And then it'll be some for every county in Illinois. So this is specifically to Illinois. I don't know what the rest of these states got going on. Um, specifically to Illinois. I know I read that we're getting uh, 28,000, I believe, right? Because we need... Mm-hmm. We need like two doses of it, so it's really not enough. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, twenty thousand ain't gonna do shit. Nope. Not when Chicago's like what three point something million or one point yeah, million, million people. Yeah, three million people. Yeah, it's three million people. Mm-hmm. Shit, well, yeah. Chicago's huge. Um, yeah. So, um, we're getting that many vaccines. So, our thoughts about it, guys. How do you think this should be distributed? How do you think this should uh, be distributed? Out to the people, uh, it should be um, the healthcare workers first. And because uh, you know, the first people that got it in the UK, they're like 90 years old. And what if they die just because of natural causes? What does that do for it? How do you know if it's actually working? What if they, yeah, and what if you give it to them and the side effects kill them? Yeah, that, yeah. Because it's too much for their body to take. So I don't know how yeah. that works. I didn't read anything on how that works. Yeah, apparently, they, uh, they tested it. I mean, I'm sure, but I would thought they would give it to like, People in their forties and stuff, or someone that's not of age, where uh, a death will be just not like it just happened, like you know. I mean, I I did read that I believe it was in the UK. Two health professionals, um, who are in the healthcare field, um, they got the vaccine, and they had really bad allergic reactions to it so what they are saying is that if you have a history of allergies like i don't know like a good amount of allergies people who are allergic to like any little thing to be very cautious and definitely do speak to your doctor regarding you taking this vaccine Mm -hmm. um so that's something and i agree with with keith i definitely do think that healthcare healthcare workers should get the vaccine first if they choose to of course, you know, if they don't want to, I, I don't think they should have to. But I don't know how that's going to work. But definitely people in the front lines and then, I don't know, I guess oh, older people. Why not older people? What if they die from it, though? I think you should get it if you're a healthy old person. Yeah, that's so. Yeah. But if you're, you're like, are they giving it to people who have like pre-existing conditions? 
They're giving or it people to who are or people or people who are already in the hospital. I believe oh, they're giving yeah. it to whomever would like it, and it like qualifies for who's getting it first. Why would we not get it? See, then that's the other that's the other uh, discussion that came about about with this vaccine, right? Was, um, what is the purpose of a vaccine if people aren't gonna want to get it? I know, like everybody was asking for a vaccine at the beginning of it, kind of like yes, yes, vaccine, a vaccine. But then, I feel like as time progressed, well, as start stuff started to come out that they were people got sick or. But I mean, like, there's side effects to that shit, regardless. I mean, right? there's side effects to every vaccine you take. Right. Because a vaccine is basically the virus just dumbed down. Is that a fact? And it's dead, actually. The the virus yeah, is dead. dead. The virus is dead. Yeah. It's not. It's, yeah. They're not going to inject a live virus into oh. you. It's dead. And that's yeah. what a lot of people like seem to misconstrued. It's like. Yeah, they're just injecting the vaccine into you. I mean, the virus so that, into so you. So that your body can know what it is. But they don't quite understand that it's not the virus alive. It's a dead virus. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I just don't... See, and that's the thing. Like, why why put out a vaccine if people aren't going to take it? People were asking for this vaccine, and now that it's coming, they're like, no, nah, I don't know if I'm going to take it. Like, there's all this, like, weird... Uh, Shut up, ambulance! I, um, <laughs> I, I heard it. Um, like, there, why, why, why is there so? Like, I don't understand that. Like, like this is what we wanted, or the majority of people wanted, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Except for the anti-vaccine people, which I, I don't understand. And I know I see you out there. I know a couple. I think personally, um, who are anti-vaccines and shit. Uh, whatever. I'm not here to judge you. But to the people that actually wanted it, and now that it's here and don't want to take it, why? Like, I don't understand why. I keep hearing some people saying, oh, it's too soon. Like, it's too soon. They made it too quick. It's too soon. That's That's what I keep hearing. I guess. At the same time, like... What, Keith? No, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I was like, how do they know it's too soon? Like, are they medical professionals and that's the thing a vaccine comes up right right, right. like that's the thing like half of us think we're medical right like people we're not we don't know what the fuck is going on we don't know how this was made we don't know nothing um so it's just it's kind of it's kind of stupid to me that that people are out here already bashing it or not wanting to take it uh even though they probably it would probably be beneficial to some folks right to get it um would you would you guys get uh vaccinated (laughs) <laughs> I would get it. You would? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll probably get it. I mean, I, I don't get the flu shot, but obviously I'll get probably get this because it's more serious. I'm a little nervous about getting it, though, because... Wait, that's what I was going to say. As much this, as we joke about it... Yeah, like, no, this year when I got... I mean, go ahead, Claudia. <laughs> this year when I got the the flu shot, I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I had really bad dizzy dizziness for like two days straight it was horrible like i would get up and the whole room would be spinning and i asked my friend i was like yo is this normal because she's the one that gave me the vaccine and she's like yeah it could just be that you you have those side effects so i'm kind of nervous to see if i do get side effects from the covid and how that would be right how would yeah. that would affect you well there is the, the side effects they posted them um and what they caused keith what were you gonna say uh no, I was just gonna say uh I'll get it. It's just that uh you're nervous anytime you get a shot. Are are you guys nervous anytime you get any injection in your arm? I mean, well, I who loves to needles, get though. yeah? Who, who loves to get stabbed with a needle? It's, it's no fun. Like, of course you'll be nervous to get the shot, but I think it's a good thing if you do get it. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm what else you gonna do? Not get, get it. it. Would you get it, Keith? I would. I think I would get it too. I would as much shit as I talk, and I'm I'm probably gonna be like obligated to to do it, right? Yeah, we probably. Yeah, they ask you. I mean, I know that for instance, like I was telling you, um, be earlier. Like my dad, he he's been asked already where he works if he would like to have the vaccine. They're not telling him that he needs it, um, but they're like, hey, would you like the vaccine? We will be providing it. Mm-hmm. Um, he and he said yeah. So they're already mm-hmm. working on it. Yeah, I don't know. I I I would take it. Uh, it's just again, I, I I don't think you have an option uh, if you work in the medical field. Honestly, I don't think you should have an option either. Yeah, yeah I don't think I, I don't think you have an option in the medical field 
realistically that's the same thing with the with the with the flu shot uh those people mm-hmm. unless you have like a real like uh, <laughs> people are wilding out yeah man what's going on it's shitty what's outside going on in your street, Claudia? Um, i don't know yeah uh what was i saying oh yeah, yeah they're realistically gonna you know with a flu shot unless you have a real reason to not to get it they pretty much tell you you have to if you work in a medical field and a school typically those are the same rules what's up keith yeah but it's basically like like when you're going to school as a kid like you have to get shots because you can't go to school if you don't get like uh shots uh for the class like is that going to like kindergarten, even you with know, the anti-vaccine yeah, you, you have to get shots to go like to kindergarten like you just can't show up to school and just even like, with the anti-vaccine kids. folks like, what if the people who, who don't want their kids to have shots, like, is that something that's, like, a fight or something like that? I think, you know, that's a really good question because I was watching something, oh, but it's been a while, about a mom, but she chose to do homeschooling because she did not want the to kids have, to get vaccinated. Yeah, to ha- be vaccinated. Yep. Um, But I don't know if at least, like, CPS, I don't know what private schools are like, but if they are accepting for that to happen. And the thing is that, like, I understand if you don't want to vaccinate your kids, don't do it. However, you do realize that you're putting at risk other children. Right. Like, it's not just your booger pooping machine kids. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. like other kids, too. Yeah. I don't know. That, that I think that's the problem with the anti-vaccine folks. Again, too many options, right? Too many... Too many ways. Well, everybody wants options nowadays. Right, right. So, too many options. I'm sure at some point, something will come down where... It is optional, but that's just going to put more folks at risk, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Really. I'm sure another thing that people are worried about, like, it wasn't, people didn't think it was as serious as first, and now they see how serious it is if you get it, and that's why why they don't want the vaccine, too. Like, they can see what it, it does to people, and but, they don't want, to, want it to happen to them. Right. I don't know, man. But do you think that having people get that vaccine, that it will genuinely help with stopping the spread of COVID? Because I honestly believe that there's going to be groups of people who will get the vaccine. And the professionals are saying, or at least the scientists, um, the CDC, they're saying, even if you get the vaccine, still wear your mask and social distance because not everyone has the vaccine. Yeah, so you still yeah. need to follow certain protocols till numbers genuinely do start going down. Mm-hmm. And then we're able to transition slowly into no more mask and all of that. And I feel like there's going to be people who are like, I got the vaccine. Fuck this shit. Well, <laughs> and then that's yeah, that works slowly you use. It's not right. And that brings up another do. thing, right? Are people too lax now that we're getting a vaccine mm-hmm. and, uh, like people are, st- I, I, I can almost see it like, I, I, or feel it that well, people are getting people- too, too comfortable with, uh, a vaccine coming and them now just being like, well, fuck it. Like I can do whatever I want because the vaccine's coming. So well, people got too comfortable before we knew we had a vaccine. Like people just like, I'm tired of doing it. Right, 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 right. But I'm saying like now, even more now so that there's a vaccine coming. Now they're like, damn, like now we're really going to, uh, just start wilding out and doing whatever because the vaccine's right. coming anyway. So what do I got to worry about? You know? Oh yeah, yeah. And so like I, I think like and like Lada says, yeah, people are gonna start to be like, Well, I got the vaccine now, fuck it. You know, I can I don't have to wear a I'm mask. Tired of wearing this mask. Follow the rules. <laughs> I mean, I have had people come up to me and they're they're like, Oh, I'm uh I got the what is that called? The the antibodies. Oh yeah. They're like, yeah. I got the antibodies. So, so 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 do so is it do you guys know if you got it before, can you get it again? Wait, what did you say? Sorry, Keith. If, if you got COVID before, can you get it again? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah okay. I think it's a, a six month period. I don't know. There's a period where you're not as you're, as, as, as vulnerable, vulnerable to, to it. it. Yeah. I don't know if they changed that, though, because I have heard people come back positive, like relatively. Okay, so here's the thing you that work more closely in the medical field, um, I know someone who has been testing positive since Halloween, October 31st. Mm-hmm. They're not having any symptoms and they're still testing positive. Stop have you testing. Stop testing? Yes, yeah, stop testing. 
stop testing uh you uh, you're supposed to actually wait a 90 day uh 90 day period to uh get another covid test essentially so that you can stop because you're going to keep coming back positive because of the dead uh virus cells in your nose okay. um so they do ask you like maybe you can like rinse your nose out with like saline or something like that and mm-hmm. um try to get tested again but realistically they're asking folks not to get tested again within that 90 day period because you're coming back positive the likelihood like that it, the, you can come back negative it's possible but mm-hmm. at the same time if you keep coming back positive then there's no point of you getting tested again again right so okay. that's what happened like with my parents like they tested positive and then um came back negative when they well, did their quarantine and they were mm-hmm. fine okay um but it's just i guess at a case by case basis but realistically if you keep coming back positive then just stop getting tested oh uh, you're no longer contagious at a certain time frame either so okay. yeah 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 you, but you still follow the same uh protocols you still wear your mask you still try to stay away from yeah, folks yeah. just because you still you know but after a certain while you're no longer contagious it's like the flu or anything else where you yeah. once a certain period reach, reaches you're the most like real when, when at the beginning is when you're real like contagious okay. and once that happens and then you're, you're that's it but yeah okay. that's what people have been doing so i know a lot of people and we've stopped that uh that might that might like contribute to the uh uh people not coming like the lines not being as long anymore is because people are starting to like get asked that they don't they don't get tested as frequently anymore okay because um, gotcha. we have people coming back <laughs> like all the time i mean if you're negative you can come back uh if you think you're sick or something like that and you're negative you can keep right right back. right yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you're positive you just keep coming back positive just stay you know stay at home <laughs> yeah yeah wait <laughs> or just wait yeah you know, just wait a long period before you're tested october is yeah. not even that far away i know it just it just sucks though because then like you know work and, then, and stuff yeah yeah and yeah stuff. and so that's why the, the, there's like new things coming out where they're like uh legally you're supposed to let these folks come back to work after this time frame because they're no longer uh things so they do hand out letters and let folks oh, know okay. that hmm. you know they're no longer contagious they've been tested positive and they've been asked not to do this anymore you know the 90 day period hmm. but some jobs might ask you for that negative result and that's where it gets kind of yeah tricky I so i don't fucking know what what people were doing but i'm not a medical professional so don't take anything i said as fact <laughs> um this is strictly my advice to my friend. <laughs> um, but do what you please. I am not a medical podcast. Uh, we do shit differently around the Pushing Buttons podcast. Um, so we're going to keep moving right along. Um, we're doing good time. We're moving on nicely. Um, we are going to move to something that happened recently, apparently, and uh, I was uh, made aware of that I didn't know about. Uh, I don't know if Keith knew about this prior to I saw it. Uh, I saw it. prior to it god you probably knew about it uh what we're talking about is the brandon bernard i believe that's the name right brandon bernard yes. being uh-huh. executed uh for a crime he committed in the 90s yes yeah. 99 90 what 99 99 so he committed the crime in 99 was uh convicted of i don't know the charges Murder? exactly but i know that I he wasn't don't know the exact charges i know that he wasn't involved directly with the crime um well, not, I wouldn't say involved directly. He, wa- he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. The trigger yeah. No, he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. Yeah, he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Uh, he was involved in it. Yeah. But yes. um, people were asking for uh, his release, I believe, right? Not a release. No, 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 his release, they're asking to um, uh, remove to the death sentence. The yeah. Death, yeah, the death sentence. Yeah, okay. So they were asking, yeah. folks were asking to remove the death sentence. This man has been in prison, was in prison for, since he was 18. Um, and has recently been executed uh, via the death penalty in Indiana, I believe, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so what what was the new evidence that did come out about about this case, Keith? Uh, it was that um, that the it was that the, the lady wasn't dead yet when the uh, they set the car on fire. They were in the trunk. They so the guy so the, his partner, the guy he was with. He killed the two. He shot the two, but the lady still was alive when she was in the car, when they're in the trunk, and she died by smoke inhalation, basically. You know, so not the gunshot the wound. Yeah. Not the gunshot yeah. wound necessarily. Yes. Who and, set the car on fire? Uh, apparently both of them. I guess. Yeah, you know? he, I know oh. that according to um, what I read, Brandon was he was a part of setting. 
the, the car, car on, on fire. fire. So I know that he was yeah. charged for that, and I believe kidnapping as well. Yeah, oh, kidnapping and arson. Basically, yeah, arson, and, arson kidnapping. and kidnapping. Yeah. We got the death penalty for that. Right, and and that's the thing. It's and it's been. It's it's been so many years and that's what people are saying. Like it's just been so long. I don't know what the death penalty looks like regarding like how long of a period of time do they need to make these decisions? Like I don't know any of that. Um so I'm not going to speak on that, but I do know that a lot of people were like, "Well, why this long?" because I do know that the person who did um pull the trigger, he was executed, correct? Yeah, earlier, September. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you're asking why it took so long? Well, that's what some people were asking. Oh, it like takes if long. You, if you were going to, then why does it take it so long? It takes long. long. Uh, okay. it all they, only, they only do a certain number of people a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only do, uh, yeah, it's not that many. And then it's mm-hmm. hard to do it. And then there's probably other legalities that I have no clue yeah, of. Yeah. Uh, but I know it takes a long time. Some people are in death row forever and they die before they even get uh, the, killed. The yeah. death penalty. Yeah. Um. So they die by natural causes or whatever the case may be. They die and then don't get to actually mm-hmm. be sentenced to death. Um. So, um. That's what I was seeing. So I won't, let's. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna play devil's advocate, but I want to see where uh people's mindsets is right about this, okay. this topic. Um. So some of the questions that I that I had and some of the like thoughts that went through my head as to as it pertained to this case was mm-hmm. um like it's and it's even in here like should we get rid of the death penalty right uh, that's the question that everybody asks that's the question that everybody wants everybody has a different answer to some people are still for it some people are still not for it uh my question being uh I think it's not even a question it's more of a statement uh, or something mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. um we need to stop thinking that everybody uh is against the death penalty yeah. or is against harming another person that did harm to you right realistically speaking i'm gonna say the majority of people want the person that killed a significant other or a person in their life that killed the person in their life they want that person dead a uh, hundred uh, i would i would say a good portion of people i can't put a number on it but a good portion of people would want that person dead um so my question being how many people do you think like do or even just you guys how do we feel about that would you would you be able to just like because you're asking a lot in 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 yeah. retrospect right we're asking a lot of the courts we're asking a lot of the people running this case we're asking a lot of these people to revert something right and mm-hmm. i know his family came out and was like oh like we forgave him blah 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 uh i shouldn't say blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> um that we forgave him all this all this other stuff right um and we're happy and we're finally at ease right i don't know if this happened before or after he got killed Mm-hmm. uh through the death penalty or uh like how it like when it happened basically when did that happen um but realistically speaking like if the family like imagine you being the family of that person that got murdered and then you asking the courts or other people to revert the verdict of something that you might feel is the right thing to do so would you guys be able to like how would you guys feel like if, if if your family member was murdered by somebody and there was a, a crowd of people protesting for this person to and you thought you got satisfaction off of the, the, the death penalty, right? This person's going to, you know, rot in jail for the rest of their life and they're going to die the way they deserve to die. Right. How do how would you guys feel if they were a crowd of people protesting against that verdict? I mean, if I mean, to be honest, I'd be like, well, fuck you all, because at the end of the day, it's like, like you said, once it's you personally, I know a lot of people might not think this way, but for me, it's like you're taking something away from me, so you just shouldn't be on this earth. Like if you were capable of doing that, then you shouldn't be on this earth. However... I'm also of the belief that a lot of times it's like, do I want that or do I rather you suffer in prison for the rest of your life so every day you wake up knowing what you did? If that makes sense. So for me, it's like... What if like, you want both? 
And that's the thing. That's the part where I'd be torn. Like, for instance, with the case um, with, uh, what was his name? Her, the Hernandez kid with the CFS and all of that. Like, yeah. So I know that the mom, something happened in prison where she was beaten up and just completely jumped by a bunch of women Mm -hmm. um and that's something that in a sense it's like well yeah that's what you get this is what you did to this child but at the same time it's like you also deserve the death penalty the fact that you're capable of doing that to a young innocent kid just because you had this wild idea on in your head so it's i'm torn between those two thoughts but if i were to be in that situation and then i see that people are protesting it's like you don't know what i'm going through emotionally for me to see you protesting for something that doesn't really affect you but you know what do you think you uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm torn like if you're able to do that to somebody you should not have the right to you should give your life by taking someone else's, basically, right? So you're an eye for an eye person. Yeah, well, it's not an eye for an eye. It's like, well, what if somebody kill like three people? You can only kill yourself. Like, it's still not an eye for an eye, but you got you you kill more more people than you actually. You only one person. So if that, so yeah, if if you kill, if you're able to kill one person, then you should be able to. His life should not be, uh, be on this earth either. So. I believe that you should not. It's uh, yeah, uh, dang. It's just hard to think of having somebody kill because you'll even if that person gets the death penalty, I don't know necessarily that heals the wound that that person has gone. That's true. Well, and yeah, that's probably what the other people are thinking, right? The people who are like protesting and going against it, right? Yeah, like, that, yeah, that's probably yeah. It's like it that's doesn't it doesn't help it that doesn't, he kills them, right? That it yeah, doesn't it help that they kill him. It's not gonna yeah, change, it doesn't change anything. But who are we to say that, right? Like that might bring me the closure that I needed. Yeah, it might bring you the closure that you needed. So, are you with the protesters, B, or no? No, I'm okay. Well, personally, man, I, I really like want to dive into that protesting thing, but like, I don't know, man. I think sometimes the protest stuff feels like it's just a wave, right? Of of of, of a couple of people who realistically feel that way, and then there's just a wave of people who support it because it's the cool thing to do, right? Or the right thing to do in their eyes, right? So I don't know. I, I'm I don't I don't I'm not with them. I just. I'm not like I'm in like neutral in this situation only because it's been new to me. So I don't really know too much about the case and what happened. But I do. Uh, I like do like the flip to see what the the other side is thinking. Right. And what two sides are thinking and how differently are they thinking. Right. And some of these people were like that's I, That's just the first thing that came to my mind was how do we tell. Like, I don't know that family and what their what they were going through. Right. Or what their beliefs and what their thoughts on it were. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure they weren't too happy about it at first. Right. Did, did that change afterwards or before? I'm not sure what when that was said. Right. That they have forgiven him that it was over with. I don't know if that statement came after or before. Whatever the case may be at that point, it's too late because he's already in the death row. Like you're already in death row. Yeah. So at that point, that does nothing for me <laughs> at that point. Right. As as the person in prison, um, so I don't know. Like it just it's, it to me it's indifferent. So should we get rid of the death penalty? Do you guys feel? No, personally, no. I don't think so. I think that, for instance, with this case with uh, Brandon Bernard case, I know that I read I read that he he was working with at risk youth, so he was doing something uh, allegedly. I don't know i don't have proof of this but he was doing something he he did regret what he did um so it's there's cases that sometimes i'm like you know what you genuinely could just be mixed up with the wrong crowd 18 like you i mean 18 year old but then again you don't know what anyone is capable of right um you don't know that if he were to go out to the street he'd do some dumb shit again um yeah. but they no one was asking for him to go out it's just you know just don't execute him um but i it i think that you should definitely look into 
what he did and kind of just see what what it was like for him in prison i mean i think that he didn't even have any what are those called like when uh, good behavior things what are they called there's a name to them yeah he just was good he was good like good he, behavior was, he was yeah. yeah but 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 then again i mean when you're on death row i mean what I mean, are you gonna do well, you know, <laughs> no, well, <laughs> i'm not trying to be devil's advocate but i mean how sorry can you get i mean I, you can't go anywhere Right. No, well, no. I said, you have no choice but to turn to the other side and say, I forgive. I want to do good now. Right? It's yeah, just, but I mean, that, do. you're just in prison, though. It's not like you're going to be out and about. But I guess the danger is that in that is that you could potentially could be out. Right? That's what, that's what, yeah. You, you should. Well, that's what the out. argument is with some yeah. folks, right? Is that you can come out and do it again. Uh, right, some right. people are believers that once an addict, always an addict, right? Uh, and nine times out of ten, that's probably right, right? Uh, the assumption is probably right. Uh, I don't know the statistics to that, but, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't know the statistics of somebody leaving prison and coming back out and actually doing the same thing again mm-hmm. or getting into more trouble, hanging out with the wrong cr- a crowd. I don't know right. what the percentages are to that. And that's always a possibility. Right. Mm-hmm. And so that's I think that's just a chance that we're willing to take. It. I, some folks are willing to take that chance and be like, well, he should deserves to be free because he's changed now. Um, and we believe that he won't do anything crazy again. Right. Or won't do anything harmful to anybody that's just the i mean that's realistically speaking with a lot of things right and then there's also like some of the stuff that happens with um in our local stuff right here like right in the streets where uh some people go to jail um do something like horrible or do like or sell like crazy drugs and then the next day they're out right um like it's just then i think that's more so where people want fixed right as you want the justice system fixed you want the uh, all these people that that do this stuff and uh, that take care of like crime to be fair and to look out and change and kind of change with the t- times. But again, we're realistically asking people to do way too much, right? There's only so much that can be done with rules in place, and it's not always going to favor you or the other person, right? Um, yeah. And then that's just that's how it's always going to be, and I don't, I, that's why to me sometimes it's very unfixable the things that we have, right? It's just certain things aren't ever going to get fixed because. You can't please everybody, right? Mm-hmm. You can't please the world. And at some point, somebody is going to be like, well, I got the shit under the stick, right? And then somebody else is going to be like, well, I got the good under the stick and vice versa. So I, I just, uh, it's a never ending cycle of issues that will probably never fix, right? Um, yeah. I did so hear what some you're of basically the. basically saying is basically punishment can never, punishment will never be up to everyone's expectations. Like someone will always want more, right? Basically. Right, right. You know, um, some people are gonna look at it differently, right? You shouldn't have been hanging out with that crowd, right? You shouldn't. But have if you had no, yeah, uh, yeah, again. But mm-hmm. then you, it was situations I had no choice. Right, right, right. Had, had uh, to get money. Right, life. Or to people's survive. life situations are different. And right? I think that's also right? why, with especially with the prison system, they're trying to have it be not so much about punishment, but more of a like rehabilitation type of thing i i've like i've heard those theories yeah, before. yeah. that's part uh, of that yeah. the whole thing that they make that they make certain folks do right, right, it's right. Such, and it's the you know and, and and everything could start with the pipeline to prison theory too like you know ever since you're young it's and that's that's why it's like the pipeline it's literally just a trail for you to follow to end up in prison depending on your situation and depending what you're doing especially if um the community you're in doesn't have enough resources or this and that and you still don't choose to get out of that lifestyle that's where you're gonna end up being so i i guess that's the rehabilitation process of it all which could potentially have been what happened with brandon you know but then get but with the rehabilitation can somebody fully rehabilitate inside of a locked prison cell where you're negated your right to go out in the free world like live like live how you how you, how you gonna live knowing that you still can't go where you want to go there's nothing like, like real life confined. real life situation right like real life experience mm-hmm. real life yeah i'm confined to this and i know i'm always going to be confined to this i don't know man like, i'm not I'm does not that a... leave somebody in mind when they rehabilitate Right, like and I'm that's, in a confined space, and that's what and I'm I saying. Know I can't like, get out. you can rehab somebody all you want, 
it's not necessarily going to work. I mean, I, I do believe that that purpose is for people to, who potentially will be out in the streets again. Um, I don't know if that would necessarily work for someone who is going to be in prison like their whole life. You know what I mean? Right. But like, let's say somebody suffers from like some type of just they're crazy and they want to go kill people. Like, is that really fixable? Or well, is that no, a neurological yeah, that's issue at that point? A, no, yeah, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Are we are we gonna try to do they get the same fair treatment as somebody who murdered and now they're 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 different? Like that's what I'm saying. Like like at the same time, like I guess there's a difference between I mean if you call there's a difference between a serial killer. But we won't know that. If somebody killed somebody, we don't know that they wouldn't do it again. They right, could tell you true, they wouldn't do true. it again. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know me. and some people are really good like some of these people are really smart you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying you know, or play the game play the system right and and i think that's the issue i have with it i'm all for trying to make the you know fix the issue of not putting people in jail because it's fucked up right but at the same time we have to have another solution to that right and the solution is also isn't going to be as perfect as people make it out yeah. to seem yeah right because somebody else still have an issue with it there's always going to be yeah, somebody we, who has an we issue can't think rehabilitation will heal everybody right it won't work for yeah no it won't work people. for just will never i still take. want what i still i want that person to be dead or i still want that person to be in jail right yeah right. i still I'm think still that gonna... person can do this right so i don't know i think i'm indifferent about it but yeah it's a hard thing to be one side or the other. i mean there are people who are like no death penalty no but for me it's like i think we can end on this note though yeah um Rest in peace, Brandon Bernard. Um, definitely, you know, a, a messed up situation, right? I think yeah. we can all agree on that. Um, unfortunate situation, right? Um, but it's a, it's a sticky situation, sticky t- subject. It's unfortunate talk. for both parties, you know. Yeah. Right. It's a terrible unfortunate for both people. So for both parties involved. So. Um, yeah. But with that, I think we've hit everything we wanted to hit today and we're actually on time look at that um <laughs> it was it was it was weird to see keith on the on the <laughs> facetime um I know. but hopefully he's back with us next week for the last episode before our break yes um and we're gonna keep it pushing um i do want to say that we are on all streaming platforms we are on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify and we are on anchor for your ass and we are on youtube so, so go ahead and subscribe 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 <laughs> um and we're just gonna keep on pushing man uh, it's still covid season be safe out there um and yeah that's all i got for y'all man all right thank you guys peace out see you next week see you next week peace